Hi, I'm Invicta Fighting Championships Bantamweight Caitlin Young, and I'm about to take you through the weight cutting experience. You'll get a real behind the scenes look at what some of the women are doing to prepare to make weight for Invicta Fighting Championships 7. <laughs> Shredded barb. <laughs> How are you? Are you going to be doing your cut in the sauna or on a bike? In the sauna or who? On a bike or something. Both. Okay. I'll get, a little bit of both. I'll get my sweat under the sauna and then keep going. Go back in the sauna and then go back on the bike and then go back in the sauna and then go back on the bike and probably check it after that. <laughs> I'm having a really good time. You have to exercise your chin. I don't know. You do. Look at that. Oh yeah, so then you're you're a pound, right? Abilene is a makeup remover, but it also opens up your pores and helps you get a sweat going. And it coats your body so it helps seal in the heat. It seals all the shit in. And it makes your skin feel nice when you're done. This is true. Gotta get everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you look even more shredded with that. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. And what they do, like, the last one, they grease them up and they spray them with water. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard sometimes they'll use Pam even. Yeah. Well, it's like cooking again. Yeah. Maybe we should just start using Crisco. <laughs> there you go. Sure. So how far do you have to go? Uh, well, with my clothes on, I'm approximately two pounds, but we'll see in about 10 minutes when I'm, I'm naked. It'll be sure. <laughs> See, okay. <laughs> Very cool. I'm gonna eat it. Oh, Rochi boy. Yeah, give, give him some. Oh, he's alive. Look, he's, he's alive. alive. He's You're over suffocating him. Flip him over here. Your energy is creating an aura of oh god. Ah, he grabbed you. <laughs> Okay. You can do it. To give him mouth to mouth. Sarah's having no a No mouth to mouth. No. You can survive. You can do you it. Can live. He's Breathe. about as dried up as they get. Breathe. It's, it's only round <laughs> five. You still got more time. Yeah. I love you. <laughs> and I will name this one Cher. I will name this one. <laughs> how'd, uh, how'd the cut go? Not too shabby. I, I see that. that. Nutrition and motion meals to do all my food. So pretty much I ate. I'm still eating now. Like food, and I'll be eating until about 4:15 um, to stay on track with me and uh, weight looking good. I do the salt bath. You know, 
know, to get the water off. So sure. uh, we had to go in a couple of times. It was good, like 135. Um, Yesterday morning, it was 35, so we, we were perfectly on track. And the salt bath does a lot of the trick of it. And now it's just sort of the waiting it out to get that last little bit on and keep eating so that I still have my strength, but keep losing, losing the water. So, you know, hopefully keep peeing and whatnot. Right. <laughs> awesome. FC7 weigh-ins at the Ameristar Casino. We're about to go check out how the fighters are doing on weight and then also see some pre-fight physicals and what goes on backstage before the fighters weigh in. Check already? Yeah. Good. Awesome. Good. Very good. Awesome. Where's Esther? I'm pretending to face off. This will be the weigh in venue for Invicta 7. We have Cynthia and Esther facing off. As uh, Casey is setting up for the official weigh in photos. Below weight, I don't know how far, probably like a pound or a pound and a half. But that's good because then I can like bring ice water and sit by and go Sure. Uh, the weight cut wasn't bad. I, like, I just learned this trick this camp. I got a towel and so I like an ice water and put a bunch of ice cubes in it and wrapped it around my head. And then I sat in the sauna for like an hour straight. I think like five pounds in an hour and then it was done. So oh, that's nice. Yeah, it was really you drop, good. drop water well then, huh? Huh? You drop water pretty easily yeah, then, huh? Yeah, it came pretty fast. We just covered an alkaline and, and it was nice because I didn't have to like take a break every 20 minutes. Normally I do, but with that ice towel, it's pretty, pretty easy to stay in for a long period of time. So yeah, not, not suffering as much? Yeah, once you just start sweating, you just keep sweating. I didn't have to interrupt it all the time. Pretty sweet. Awesome. Have you have you checked on the official scale yet? I haven't. No, we're gonna go get the ice water and stuff so we can weigh with it in my hand. See how much I can. See if you can have it. Okay. That's how I did it earlier. Yeah. It's I weighed myself. Now. I weighed myself with Calderwood, checking her weight. First time on the official scale in the official place. What's that? construction project going on in the corner here. This is for the ladies that have to strip naked to make it. Goes up around them so there's no danger of somebody dropping a towel. Makes for good way in photos. It does indeed make for good way in photos. 
Tanya is checking her weight. Yeah. Missioner and Big John having a chat. He is in fact a beast. The, how the cut go and everything today? It went actually really well. Uh, it was the easiest cut I've ever had. But I just started my period. Just now? Just right now, like 10 minutes ago. Did that uh, mess your cut up at all? No. Zero. And I, I knew it was going to start today. I tried to do things to put it off longer and I thought maybe because of the little bit of depletion it would maybe put it off a little bit longer, but it didn't. I just, I knew because I watched and I monitored. Sure. It well, didn't affect the cut at all. Zero. <laughs> and like I said, it was actually the easiest cut I've ever had. Awesome. Awesome. No, no excuses. How'd the sock monkey thing start? Felice's sock hero sock monkey. He has a Twitter handle. <laughs> he has his own Twitter handle? Sockum LBD. Sockum LBD. Yep. Follow him. Tony and Ronnie and Dirk. Hi. Hi. Uh, what's your name? Rance McLean. McLean. Okay, so you've been a fight doc for a while. You've been at, at uh, a few of the Invictus now, right? I have done all but one of the Invictus shows. I was out of town for one of them. Last year, that's the only one I've yeah. Okay, so do you do other MMA shows as well? Yes, yeah, I work a lot here around uh, Kansas and Missouri. Uh, been doing this for uh, eight or nine years now. Okay, so uh, what's the craziest injury you've had to treat from MMA? Um, one of the Bellator shows that was here in town had a, uh, a fighter who broke his jaw, uh, which in and of itself, not that big deal. We've seen other broken jaws. His came apart, and part of the jaw then was rammed up through the soft palate in his mouth. Oh my god! <laughs> that was a pretty significant injury. Yeah. It's pretty good. So the pre-fight physical is taking place right now. That's one of the most graceful fighter physicals I've seen in police. <laughs> Oh, 
We are now backstage. Wayans are about to start. <laughs> this is where the fighters hide out before they walk out to weigh in. Typically, Invicta weigh-ins, uh, they start at the bottom of the card and work their way up toward the main event. Doctors leaving. Lovely Invicta girls in the corner. I didn't realize it was Lauren under the hood for a second. The weighing crowd is starting to fill in. You've been to Invicta Wayans before. Usually they're at the hotel, but now they're going to be at the venue. This is pretty nice because there's a lot more, a lot more space. Boss lady. Hi, I'm Caitlin Young. We're about to catch some fighters doing their random drug test for Invicta 7. I got a pee. We're really just gonna bring babies with it. So what, you worship for the bar? Yes, yes, they're watching the ears in the home. Hey, so are we. Yeah, we were big supporters. We were big supporters. <laughs> and you can turn water on if you want. Yeah, I, I would do Step in the shower. <laughs> Hi, Invicta fans. It's Caitlin Young again. We are here. It's finally fight day. I'm going to go try to find some fighters and give you some more behind the scenes footage. Nina getting her pre-fight sort of workout. Just loosening up before heading to the arena this afternoon. We are in the lobby waiting to head over to the venue. These are the credentials the athletes and corner people get so that they're allowed backstage. This is a blue corner. Right on the, they're on the side of the thing. I can't let's see it. Then, just on the other side of this curtain is a red corner. And Victa, if you've ever cornered an MMA fight, so a lot of the time you have to bring your own bucket. Uh, with towels and all that, but Invicta is good about getting in bags. They supply tape, gauze. It's 
pretty nice. Oh, you know, obviously the local shows don't do that. They supply water for the fighters in corners hanging around. So as the fighters start to pour in, this will become much more busy. So Tanya's working her gloves right now. Uh, new gloves come kind of stiff, so small. and small. <laughs> So she's basically stretch them out a little bit so they'll fit her hand better and be more comfortable when she fights. Um, you've been fighting a long time. Yeah. When was your first fight? Uh, 2006. 2006. So women's MMA has gotten considerably more comfortable since then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nobody fights. I tried to start feeling more, but nobody was fighting. And you fought, I'm assuming you, no, I know you fought when they used to make women fight threes. Did you ever fight anywhere they made you do that? Instead of five minute rounds? Um, where, have you had fights anywhere weird, like? Out in Jersey Field, yeah. Yeah, sanctioned yeah. fight? Uh, no, it was my first fight, or my second fight ever. And that's one that I've been But it, it was like a pro fight. Yeah, and your fight. Yeah, it's your fight. Yeah, it's your fight. And 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 your that's actually a lot for back then. There weren't a lot of like AMI opportunities at all. Yeah, and uh, there was uh, all my all my AMI fights pretty much unsanctioned states. And, uh, and they got a sanctioned body, like Missouri, and a couple of Missouri. And once they turn into have a sanctioned body, and all the all the fights get to the amateurs are like, my record's like broke, and a three amateurs, and I go back broke again. Sure. All right. Thanks. Cage set up at the Ameristar. All the CSA fighters in there. Um, kind of getting a feel for the ring. A lot of different uh, rings of fighting can be slightly different. There'll be different, different give, different texture of the canvas. Sometimes like the sponsor patches can be more slick than others. So fighters a lot of the time like to go in and kind of check it out before they are fighting in their cage. So this is Coach Karen of CSA prepping his, um, his hand wraps. In addition to MMA has a lot of uh, really high level Thai boxers out of their gym. So I'm expecting a work of art. There. So Invicta also provides people their wrap hands, but a lot of a lot of fighters like their own coach doing it, especially if they're really comfortable with the way they do it. There's a little bit of variation between hand wrappers always. MMA fighters fight in four ounce gloves, so it's not a whole lot of hand protection. Um, kind of the trick with wrapping hands for MMA is that not only do they have to be able to hit and not hurt their hand, they also have to be able to grab and grapple, unlike some of the strictly striking arms.
this is standard gauze that's going on first. And that's a pad of rolled up gauze that are on her knuckles. That'll help protect them when she strikes. For the tape. Looks like the stitch brand there. <laughs> yep. So if you can't tell from the video, this is basically tape torn the long way. So it's a thinner strip. It'll go between the knuckles and help secure that pad on her knuckles there. Now they make two by four. Take a layer of wood, and put it down, and take another layer of wood, and put it down, take a layer of wood, and put it down. Same concept. Like this. Ta-da!